Hey guys, I'm actually back from the dead. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the easy version of the four part challenge. We're gonna start at Magic Kingdom. We were supposed to go to Animal Kingdom and then we had a late start because of car problems. So let's go to Magic Kingdom. Uh, we have my sister and my husband, Anthony. Uh, wish us luck. It shouldn't be that bad. We have at least like two and a half hours per um, per part. And my sister made four lavenders for four characters for each part. So that's going to be exciting. So the first character we meet and greet at uh, Magic Kingdom is going to be Ariel. We just figured it's going to be easier since it's basically a never ending cycle. Ariel absolutely loved the lavender that she made her, and there's all three of us. So I just thought, since we're here and we're doing the easy version of the four-part Disney challenge, we're going to try every single um, popcorn from, not every single popcorn, but a popcorn from every single theme park. So we're at, since we're at, um, Magic Kingdom. This is Magic Kingdom popcorn. Let's see if this is good. And then we're going to rank the different uh, popcorn. Sorry, guys. To be honest, in my opinion, Hollywood Studios have the best popcorn. I mean, this right there? Yeah, it's that big dog. Can you pet him? Yeah, can I go pet that dog? No. Oh. So the ride that we're going to go on is Haunted Mansion. It's supposed to be a 25 minute wait, but we'll see. I mean, we've only been here for like maybe 10 minutes. We're already here, right in front of you. Let there be music from regions beyond. We will keep our spirits well. Rush this bones of the streets of every side. Nice party you got there. So we got Phineas and Lori got Gus. So we basically ran to the bus. Because we're the last group to be on. To Animal Kingdom. <laughs> I guess she thinks that it's okay to eat popcorn. So we're at Animal Kingdom and first we're going to go on Dinosaur because unfortunately it's going to go bye-bye. So I'm not happy with the decision of it going bye-bye, but change. So this might be our last time going on Dinosaur. I know. In a perfect blending of science and technology, the Dino Institute has created the Time Rover. Hello there. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me, let's talk about you, and how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon, and I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Right now, our dino should be about here, at the very end of the Cretaceous period. That's where you're going today. I arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. Dr. Marsh. That is impossibly close to the giant asteroid impact that destroyed most life forms on Earth. Our tours are designed to take you to the early Cretaceous period. And I can assure you that all time rovers have been securely locked on those coordinates. That's right. See? Securely locked. Access denied. <laughs> Continue. 
Oh, yeah, one more thing. Those locked coordinates. We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguanodon. Then I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me. What could go wrong? Hey, it's me again. I don't know why Anthony is looking off the other side. We took a um, pit stop at Satuli Canteen. I got the um, hamburger buns. He got the beef with noodles. And then she got the beef and chicken with rice and beans. Moana was very awed by the lavender. And that's us. So, since we're at Animal Kingdom, we're going to eat Animal Kingdom popcorn. Let's see if it's good. It's not. Just Most likely not. Well, that's stale. Okay. But how do you like it? I don't like it. Well, I don't like it because it's and, stale. In the words of Chris Evans, Ooh. in the words of Chris Evans, I don't like it. So we're at my home. Let me put Epcot. And Asha, Star, and Baby Valentino. Like, I just, I had those are. He's such a cute baby. Please, thank you so much. Just for safety, as you see, we have cast members coming in and out. Thank you. I really thought that lavender with poo was really fitting. And here's our pictures with poo. It's a race! Like a grand and miraculous space station, our planet has sailed through the universe of time, and unfortunately captains. But it also brings this as its own form of life, which nothing else can understand. But the Tunisians, they create a simple common alphabet, adaptable to most languages. Remember how easy it was to learn your ABCs? Thank the Phoenicians. Thank you, Phoenicians. Yes, thank you. Note, Marie is glowing. One of all chicken legs. The only closest thing that we'd ever get with um, that movie, great movie ride. <laughs> it's the Technic... Uh, technological way. I can't say that word. Cyril. Where's Archer? Hey, I think I see my home. Finally. Yes. Oh yes! In the future, the city will be a great place to work. Oh my god. The home office will be a media-rich environment, outfitted with global networking and the latest digital tools to turn your dreams into reality. Need to be somewhere? No problem. Just pack up and go. You'll be able to keep working because your car drives itself. Your team is always available for brainstorming, even while you commute, thanks to a personal digital assistant that carries all your files. Who knew that board meetings could be such a blast? Oh my gosh. Great job. But you work to live, so technology will help you live better. Like wireless technology that brings the news while you're at the beach. This just in, looks like it's going to be a great big beautiful tomorrow. The end. Or should I say the beginning of your future.
Okay. Uh, we're almost interested in. Yeah, Alicia. What's that? Uh, I'm gonna see. to the future, or should I say, your future. Yes. Here in your future, getting away on vacation is a breeze. Your smart suitcase knows where you're going and what you'll need. And with wind power from your home fueling station, you're on. You won't have to worry about your pets while you're gone, thanks to handy household robots. You will leave your country home in an ultra-light, ultra-powerful, totally network family car that can take you anywhere. You've already planned the trip with your virtual travel agent. Hotels, check. Restaurants, check. Guided tours, check. Getting there is half the fun, so your family car will be equipped with virtual tools to teach you about the world outside your window. And I can't forget about R2. And I love this droid right here. Oh, underwear? Do not put on your flight glasses until instructed to do so by a crew member. One final reminder, smoking and photography are never permitted on any Star Tours flight. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask a Star Tours agent. You'll be boarding in just a few moments. Thank you. Hi, Benny. Oh, yeah. This is Benny. This is where they moved him. We basically had a meet and greet for Ariel at Magic Kingdom, Moana at um, Animal, Kingdom. Animal Kingdom, Pooh at Epcot, and Olaf at Hollywood Studios. My favorite place. Yeah. And <laughs> actually, Olaf gave us a gift. Since that he can't do signatures, you get like a little signature in a beach ball, uh, like little paper postcard, postcard thing. thing. Yeah. But we're all done. We do got Hollywood Studio um, popcorn. We're gonna wait until Lori is done with the loo, uh, so we can all try it. I'm just saying, Hollywood Studios has the best popcorn. And the freshest most of the time. Yes, most of the time. Um, and then our bonus is we're going to see Fantasmic. <laughs> end the night with Fantasmic! Woo! So we're having Mickey sandwiches. Just My because favorite. She wants ice cream, but that's we're having ice cream before dinner. The adult dream. <laughs> <laughs> Last man standing. I'm on sneakers here. Sketchers. I'm on sketchers. You can't really see. It's dark. 
And then, I mean, he's wearing root work boots. And then I'm wearing like very thick high tops. And I told my mess up that you two can't walk. They're sketchers. <laughs> now, now, here's the reason why the two of us are in boots. Like, fancy sneakers. It was supposed to rain. Yes. And so I, we decided, let's not wear shoes. Let's wear something that is rainproof enough. For me, my boots. I regret this. Okay, so we have Hollywood Studios <laughs> popcorn. popcorn. Freshly popped when we first got it. And then we waited until after Fantasmic. <laughs> we could have ate it at Fantasmic. You know I what? realized that. You're right. You know what? It's not that salty than um, Magic Kingdom. Yeah, mm. the same. And there's a little more of a buttery taste to it. Mm -hmm. Then again, think about it. Hollywood Studios. What what do you have when you go to like a movie? Butter. Popcorn. Butter popcorn. And so, of course, they're gonna have a little more extra butter and maybe a little less salt on their popcorn. Yeah. So, out of the three that we actually tried. Which one is your favorite? Ta-da! Hollywood Studios, my pick! So, that's the end of this video. I hope that you all enjoyed our shenanigans for Four Day Park. Um, I hope you have a magical day. Oh, well, actually, don't forget to have a magical day. Because you deserve it. Bye, guys.